Alrighty, welcome back. We're still at it. We have, or Nathan has, the hump of his truck all... Do you want to do it, Nate? You got her all humped over and all that sort of all stuff. All humped over, tickety-tacked in there. Um, it's, it's, it looks really good. It's nice and square. Now we're going to do is apply the wood uh, to finish it off. If Jolene wants to just walk up around the back there, and then you can just take like just a, a look at how it's done. And that way there, if anybody else had a Ford truck and they wanted to raise the floor in their Ford truck, this is basically how we did it. When a bead rolled it, we put them out, so I kind of liked it out instead of laying in so stuff wouldn't lay in it. Mm -hmm. Also, as we're talking about this, that also could be metal down there. If somebody wanted to put metal, put beads in that and stuff there, and right. put down there, it can be. Um, it can be done that way. Uh, we have it all tacked in there, all secured in there. Everything, if you come on the outside of the box, is welded to the square stock, which we framed it with. Looks really nice, tight, and right. Um, yeah, I went down around there and got all that in there. Nathan has an idea to how to figure this, how to, how to, how to close this off. He can show you, actually. It was his idea, so... We have the ball, we have this right here. It's all up and down, up and down, up and down. We have square stock, square stock. Just gonna take and put a piece of angle art under there like that, and then we can go flush on the front up to the... Square stock to yep. square stock? Square stock to square stock, and then we can put a piece yeah, in there. piece of metal to cap that off. Nice, yep. you know, a square, you know, a nice square piece that you can cut on a shear, maybe. Even and then this piece can be a piece that you can make with a pattern of a piece of paper like press it on there Trace it trace this all out and then you can butt weld that all together close that off nice and tight and right and everything will look Nice secure. This will be nice and secure down here with uh, yep. the angle grind going across this uh, Connect to this connect to the box side which will make it really 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 strong and And, and another thing too take a look underneath that bad boy. That's clean. Yep, that's it's all you know, clean. It's, just, it's new clean. It can be seam sealed. It can be it needs to be sanded and that sort of stuff and, and you know make sure that you know something will stick to it but basically it's it's really nice and clean and, it, I, and yeah yeah we can flip that upside down do that at a later date so what, so what we're going to do is just apply some of the wood that we've cut i've got two pieces in here i'm going to leave them here because i have a, a piece in the back um that would fit a boat so i basically just got to try to make it fit the backboard what we got going on. Nathan's going to fit in the wood in the back. Um, I've placed it in there and it was tight and right to get it in there. So Nathan's going to place it back in. Just put a couple screws in it to hold it down. Yeah. He, he's not happy with the screws. No, I got, didn't, they didn't have the screws I wanted and the screws they, that I wanted were too long. And so yeah. I'm just going to stick them down with what I got for now. And then I'm going to find some go farther into town so as you as you say you know i don't like that idea well like i mean it's not finished yet the cookies are not even close to coming out of the oven yet and um, there's a I bunch am, of i'll be pulling the wood back out i'm going to go in and paint everything yeah and seam seal everything rock guard the bottom and then and when i came i had planned on doing metal the whole thing first and then right. you mentioned about doing one all wood and then and the two ideas kind of come together. I like the metal with the I did look at some stuff and I kind of like the metal with the wood. So that's what we're, I'm going to stain the wood with the dark for now. And, and this is just, uh, when I say rough just, lumber, it's just rough lumber from Rand's Mill. It's been open for a hundred years. You can drive up over to mountain. We'll take you there sometime because it's quite interesting actually. Um, just go up over to mountain. We can buy our lumber. Like I said, the mill's been open a hundred years. Um, so that says something about the family, doesn't it? Yeah, the young fellow's keeping her going now. He's taking her over, so that's good. Yes, that's and good. like Nathan lives right beside him. Probably I buy all my winter's life. hardwood from him. Well, there yep. you go. Yeah. That's, that's what happens when you're in a small little town. Generally, everybody knows everybody. And then uh, you go to that person that you feel like you trust the most, I guess. Um, not knowing anything is the worst. You always got to be prepared to talk a little bit, though. <laughs> That's the Rand way. That's why. All right, so Nathan's going to place the wood in the back, screw it down where he wants to screw it down, with everybody knowing that it's coming back out to get the right screws and to be whatever. And I will help him hold it whenever he feels like it. I've got the back piece. I'll put it in here and I'll show you. straight on this edge because we cut it on the table saw but we're not fitting the headboard there so we'll just take a little shave a little bit off this edge shave a little bit off that corner just keep placing it in there until it fits and then and then it'll be you know it'll be gravy and if you want to hand hold anything Nathan I'll hold help you hold it 
They fit tight enough. I think we'll slide them all in. How long's it? How long's it been since it's had a, a floor in the box? Or okay. I suppose it's always had a floor. It's just you decided well, to cut it out. The old box that was in the truck yeah. that I had run it for quite a few years had a checker plate floor, checker plate headboard, checker plate rear cross. My thing weighed way too much. It was way too heavy. <laughs> and then when I went to short box, I did the frame and everything. I said I need to find another box. So yeah. my sides were good. And I just found this one, and sh and it was already short box, and just made my sides fit it. And you got to take 16 inches out to make it a short box from a long box in that year, and uh, worked out good. So now we're now that's what we, that's what I'm gonna have. That one there fits nice and tight. That's right. That dust inside is sprayed inside. Makes sense, don't it? Huh? Makes a lot more sense to me. Okay, so we find the adapter for this. I didn't know you had a wood shop. <laughs> yeah. That's something to that side, you think? That fit in there. I better, I better watch what I'm doing here. How'd I do that now? Oh, that would be. Huh? I'll take I think, Chad, if I just climb up there and put my knees on it, it should hold it down in there. Yeah, you should. I didn't want to say it, but you should be heavy enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I know. Dougie's not here to say it, so you can, right? There you go. Look at that Sounds like fluked out on that one, baby. Fluked out on that. One. See, them screws are junk. What pieces of junk? <laughs> yeah. Even drill through that. You, you know what? That's a sin because you know why? I've done that before, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get another one. You might as well go for it. Yeah, just oh take yeah. me back. <laughs> what a piece of junk. Hey, this is what I got here. Long. Just looking at down these ones, and like they go right straight through. But I don't know until you cut them off. But yep, them ones are two inch. Well, they're kind of what I wanted, but we're just. I'm gonna try. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll try them here in a second. Yeah, let me try. That. They ain't doing that for nothing. I'll try one more over here, and then I should get the body chuck. <laughs> it might be a pre-drill hole, pre-drill maybe. I'll try them there for a minute. Just a minute, I'll get some longer that, some ones I have. Some of them, I hate to. See. Like it's kind of a sad situation, but some of those self tappers aren't worth the, the tap. They ain't worth the them. time to, you know, you pay fifty dollars for a package of, of them, and then, then none of them even. You know, I'll take them back and just tell them they forgot to sharpen them. Put them right back in the package, yeah. No, they forgot to sharpen. Just put the, 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 the you know. I'm gonna try one of these real quick. Yeah, you can cut it off. Oh, we cut it off. They're coming back out anyways. Yes. So I'll try it and see if it makes a, a hole or not. Yeah, some of them are like, some of them, some of them are. Oh, I might, oh that might be the one. I don't, I don't know if it is the one, is it? I'm going to find out. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Good enough. I'll get the drill, drill hole first. Is that how you're going to do it? Yep. All right, I'll get the drill bit over here. This is when you start spitting and you start chewing. <laughs> Fifty dollars of the damn things forgot to sharpen. 
In it? We weren't even overspinning. Is that too, that too big? Or? Uh, what size you got there? It looks like the sharpest one. It pokes it down. It might be that'll, too big. That'll work. Let's check that out. We're going to make it work. He says he's going to make it work. It's not not the band make, uh, men at work. It's making it work. Making it work. Huh? I work like them guys. A hard. They were from Australia, wasn't Oh, you got that there sanded right in there, did you? Making it work. <laughs> men at work. This is that drum. Made out, is he made out of titanium? Don't do it, don't do it. Right read on the weld? Both, of them, is, both of them are right on the weld, that's why. <laughs> What's the odds of that? That's what, oh well. You drill those two, then you'll be, then you'll be cooking with gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on the well. The bolt. Uh, drill those two, and you'll be cooking. Yeah, the this gas. drill here is. Uh, yeah. You got the. Right? Oh, that's Can I get the drill press? Can I get the box up in this drill press? That's what I was thinking a minute ago. <laughs> so you get the bits long enough. I'll pull that sucker down through. You want a, you want a little the, bit of the yellow drill? You want a little, bit of, want a little bit of crown? You want a little bit of crown? Give me a shot right down in the hole there. Right in the hole. Turn out to get it on the hole. Boom. Look at that. That looks good. I'm stepping back and drawing the hole back. Isn't it. that a sin, huh? What are you doing, Nate? All the both in the same thing. I had to be right on them, didn't I? He made the call. He was tired of it. He said, you're not doing that to me no more. I'm, dr I'm drilling a new hole. I'm going to live with the consequence of the other hole, but I'm drilling it. Yep. <laughs> That's what happened, isn't it, Nate? That's what happened, yeah. That's what happened. What he can do is we'll sweep up the dust. We'll shove that in the hole. We'll shove that in the hole with a little bit of glue. That's the one. That's the one. See, that's how you fix that. Guess stuff. what? It's under. Good enough. Hey. Okay. Now we're gonna. Now I'll try. You learned that from Gerald Smith and Meltzer, didn't you? Good enough. I did. Good yeah. enough. Sometimes. I don't want that marker on the wood. I can step in. Put that I'm far. bothering me. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit. Wow, that's quite a... I don't know well, if that's a sharp one. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? But it's getting closed in, you know. Now, I'm not the swiftest on making them in the... The swiftest? Exact same area, so I'm going to cheat. <laughs> cheat? That's called a measuring tape. That's everybody does. <laughs> good though like I mean you can imagine you can do anything that you want with it now I would Julie in it good enough for now anyways good enough yeah, that's what Gerald does good enough I haven't seen many of his videos lately. Turned into a cowboy. Did he turn into a cowboy with Joe? Yep. <laughs> oh, country singer. Oh, Joe, way to go, buddy. All right, Chan, we'll mark them for The grinders have worked out perfect. Actually, they're still awesome. Long. The grinders have worked out awesome. Grinders have worked out awesome. 
So I got one in the corner, one in the corner. And you got your... We will stand the box, I think, up on its nose and put the angle iron in and that sort of stuff. I think that's probably the easiest way to do it. And this is like, you know what I'm saying? This is just a couple days of me and Nathan, you know. And Doug the, was in and getting the, all, my, yeah. all my buddies Doug giving me a hand. And uh, all you get, guys, getting her done, you know, that's basically what it was. I really appreciate it too. You're going into the metal, are you not? Yep. Yeah, I thought so. It's a little bit high there, it can be sanded or whatever. Right while I'm there. Nathan doesn't doesn't <laughs> Nathan doesn't spin the wheels on his truck or nothing, he just drives it easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since I had it out, so it's gonna Well you know how it goes. If you if you treat it right, you'll have it for a while, and if you don't, you won't. That's right. Huh? Haven't you been told that before? Yep. Or did you have to learn that lesson? <laughs> I was basically, when I had a vehicle, I was, I was so scared that it was going to break, I'd, I would treat it with kitten gloves. And well, then, sometimes when, you're, when it was your vehicle, you were driving every day to go to work. Yeah. Back, you had to have two vehicles if you were going to terrorize one vehicle. You had to have two. <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I was always the guy that bought the car, and if it if it broke down, I just abandoned it. I just left it. Did you? Oh, I just leave it. Whoever wanted could have it. I always had two. I had one for backup. Right now, I only got one, but years ago, I used to have two. And now, I'm going to figure out where... You know what a tow costs? You know what it costs to get it fixed? <laughs> you can have it. You, you can have it. I'm all done with it. I paid $200. Well, you can have it. And if now I gotta remember to move the weld this time, Joe. That was my bed. Not paying enough attention to this. That's good though. You can take those out easy enough and replace them with other ones. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Now, how hard does your front one? Worked right through my lunch and everything today so we can get her done. Just That's what happens when you want something, eh? Just want to get her done, you so I haven't taken a had her all day today. Yeah, you didn't even stop for lunch. No, I didn't stop for lunch or nothing today. What do you, what do you think of that fit? Ain't up front there, buddy. What do you think of that? Mint. I impressed myself. That like got lucky I did. You're I a better lucky. carpenter I, than I, I. I got lucky. Well that's what I stared as before. Body man. Cutting wood. Yeah, I went on a lot. Most, what I did most of all was piling it. <laughs> Man, he makes a lot of noise. We lived in two log cabins, so we, we, we knew how to describe something, or in the end you learned. <laughs> And doing that wood became a big thing, you know. I mean? Like, you know, there's a lot of wood around when you build. Like Probably the only gloves that hasn't been. Well, I shouldn't say not the only ones, but the old rooster gloves have been sticking around, haven't they? I no one's lost them or anything yet. Strip the holes out. Strip the holes out. Mint, Nate. That looks mint. What's your plan with the inside of it after you get the like got done what you want to get done with it? What's your plan with the inside? The truck is patina, so well the inside here is gonna be all cleaned up and I'm gonna pull the wood out, 
I'm painting it satin black, seam sealing it, painting it satin black. I'm going to get some kind of stain and darken these boards up. I'm not much of a carpenter. On, I don't know nothing about stain or anything. But I'm going to put something on it to darken them up, bolt them back in. But i got to have room so I can put it on the truck and bolt them back in after it's on the truck. So I can get my, my battery box is going to be here. I'm run wires up to that. My air pump attached to be here. I'm run hoses in. i got a whole bunch of fooling to do. And this is going to be black inside here, though? This is going to yeah, be black? Yeah, this will be all black inside. Yeah, and, you black. and you're going to turn your wood dark? Turn the wood dark, yes. And then later on, I'm not going to get to it right now, but that rear board there, um, I'll take it off, get it on the truck, and put it back on. But later on, I'll put hinges on that board and hinge it out so I can store stuff in there. But right now, I don't have time to... At any point done. in time, like you can change the wood out. So he's got the patterns. Like I said, we'll put the wood on there. He got the patterns. And then he can do later on down the road, maybe yeah. in three or four years, when I paint the truck, I'll take it back off and I'll put fancy. I don't know. Maybe I'll fancy it up if I fare that way. I don't know whatever, if you're good right? enough bad chance flexible chrome to lend you. I don't, I don't know. I don't like chrome. <laughs> chrome. Chrome won't get you home, so I won't have no chrome on it. <laughs> Nathan probably wouldn't put that on his tra tractor, but that's where we differ, and that's okay, <laughs> right? That's where we differ. That's okay. They're different. It's okay. We're allowed to be different. Okay. Freaking right. That's what it's all about. Just, just, just respect. Put a little Aretha Franklin in it. Show you the respect. Is that what she did? Yeah, she sang that song. Honey, I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sweeping the floors. I just want you to know this. You look pretty good with the broom, Jed. Look at you go. Nathan, I don't <laughs> need that compliment. <laughs> I gotta say, that's an awful long roller. Jolene said that was gonna be one of your new chores. Yeah. Uh, new house chores, Jolene said. Well, that was you. A new six foot roller. Be quiet, mate, Chad said. <laughs> Basically, get, get her up on her front, check that out. out. The box is looking really good for, you know, two guys, a welder, a grinder, and a girl. And a girl. That's what it's called. A welder, a grinder, a drill. Some ingenuity. Some, yeah, some ingenuity, some... Square stock, not a whole bunch. Yeah, that's what he's getting for now. That's what he's getting, he said. I've said that before. Yep. That's what he's getting for now. You can always come back to it. I'll always come back to it. You always remember if you're thinking that way. You know, I'll come back to that and fix that. You, you know, you generally don't. You well, know. yeah, because these are the screws that I want to put in it. But the, I couldn't get none the right length. That looks really nice. Hey, yeah, these are the screws here with that style head. That's what's going to be in it for screws. But we couldn't get the right length ones today. And that's all they had. So that's what I had to get to, to do the job. Come back and take a look, sweetheart. If you take a back look, and look at the top of Nathan's uh, piece that he got over top of his wheels. You take a look at the, at the headboard in the back. It's like anything else. You want it. You know, you want it good and straight. That looks nice and straight across there with the headboard if you line it up with your eyes. In, in my eyes, it does anyways. We shouldn't show you that kind of stuff, but if it's, if it's, if it's crooked, we won't. <laughs> How's that? That's the one. That, that'll, that'll work one yeah. This is crooked, we well, think showing us the stuff today. Yeah. But that's, um, yeah. You know, it's crooked. They ain't showing us. Okay, I'll get that. A, a two-day affair, you know? I'll play with a little bit longer here to get some more done on it. But. Ah, we got to. We'll start. We'll start fresh with a clean floor. Tip her up on her nose and see what she got. We can put some angle iron in it. I'll cut it, probably Nathan will apply it, and then we'll make some patterns out of paper.
and we'll be smoking with gas. I guess it don't really much matter if we get that all swept up this minute. I'll get her through some junk and a couple pieces of wood underneath it though, I see. Yeah, okay, let's um, let's get her up on her face. That way there I can sweep as, as we can. Let's, let's go for it. We'll sweep, sweep in a bit. Well, on. I'll lift up the front and we'll take the stands out, then we can just flip it right up. I'll take the stands out? Yep. Tell me when you're ready. Just let her right down. Ain't gonna worry about bending the sides because no, she's that, that's what I was got no sides on. And two, if you notice, what I have noticed, he hasn't got this up too high. Where this is built up a little bit, this doesn't look out of proportion. If we would have left it down where it was before. And the way I was going first, what I was going to do first yeah. off and leave that original floor on either end, the center would have looked awful out of proportion in the yeah, end, we, like you said. You want to look good underneath also. Look at that now, would you? Isn't that pretty? All right, we're going to go a piece of angle arm from that point to that point, and I'm going to cut it for him. Get, these, the uh, get our tripping hazards out of the way, chattels. Man, I can't get over how clean that looks. That way. Looks good. Jolene can get around. Looks good. The only thing I gotta change, the only thing I gotta do is this one cross member here. It's got to come out. I've gotta cut this cross member here off. And then where this angle iron is and this here is here, I'm gonna have my piece that sets against the frame here. Because my fuel cell that's down inside, my fuel lines with the AIR fittings on them. Yes. Right now, they'll, they'll hit this right now. But if this is gone, that other half an inch and they won't hit and I've, I've got room. So. You, all, that fancy, all that fancy stuff caused you trouble. The fuel system changed that up a little bit. Yep. Okay. What have we got here, Charles? We got enough to do. I think we do or do, do we not? Like, I oh, hope there might. It's going to be close. Uh, you probably did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, marker. That is right on the money there. That's good. Marker, you could have. This has got to come out, does it not? Or no? Nope. I'm going to bring in that. Did I mark that right? Yep. I'll get the welder. How much short is the top one? Nice. That's good. Nathan? Yes, sir. Is, is it, could, could we say we, we, we bring her back better than new? Just about, yeah. Just about, yeah. Yep, more fancier. It's gonna do the deed. It's gonna do the deed. That's just gonna go right on there like that. And, and then that he can right pry up, that together and right up to the And then just oh you want it right up to that? Go right up to so it's okay. that way we're tight on the bottom of this. I, right? I gotta cut a little more off then. Right? Because we want to be tight to the Yeah, cut a little while more. While you're off. doing that, I should take and just buff the edges in there. You should. And it, on. on the highest ones, right? Yeah. And buff the machine is where your zip cut might be the best one. Zip cut.
That's undercoated on the back on the bottom. That's good. There is some undercoat there in there. Somebody never had that. Do you want two clamps, one for either end, or a clamp so we can go along and clamp each one? Sure, I get that in there. There we go. Oh, there just, just second. Right. Nope. Second. Oh. There. If we get that little tap a ring and a pair of clamps, we'll be good. Clamp a ring. This is basically. I can cut that off a little bit more. That should be all right. Let me cut that off. Let me cut it off. It fits in there, right? That should be. Nice and tight. And what do you I think? Have to hit this side too, then, probably. Huh? Gonna have to hit this side too, then, probably. I could have cut it a little bit better. You got Tyson right here, yeah? Yep. Now, does it go down in? Does, does it doesn't look like it, does it? Does that end up there, Tatum? Up the front. No, go in this way further. Like, I think I should cut that off a little bit. Like, yeah, cut it off a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all right, but cut it off more. Oh, I see it's going on here. Is it the top or the side? You gotta do something here, see if that brown over there down yet. Like, there's in, how am I putting that in there? That fell out of there, like, I'm going in there like that. I wanna cut this out of here. Nice and short now, Oops. and then you can beat that over to it. <laughs> nice and short now, you can beat that over. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's yours up there. You, you tack yours, and then you come down and tack that in. And then you know what both ends look like. Had to bring in the top gun, did you? Yeah, the Oh, right on. Yeah. Good job. Yeah? Good job. Good job, David. Had to bring in the top gun. You know how the top gun goes. Right? Oh, okay. I've seen that welder too many times today. If I'm trying tonight, it's only because I've been looking at the welder. <laughs> And that will just keep that bottom piece that he's putting that angle iron on from flopping, going anywhere, it's connected nice and tight and right. The two end pieces are obviously a piece of uh, bristle board. They make a pattern, lay them down there and cap it. And then he can finish welding, do whatever he wants, seam seal, whatever you want to do. And the other end is the exact same process. And this is what we cut out. So basically, it had to be repaired anyways. That had to be repaired. That had to be repaired. So, you know, other do you, do you make something? Basically, that all had to be repaired down there. And then it's good to know. Basically, you do the exact same thing to this box as you do it to a frame. Uh, you know what I mean? We cut it out so things can go in that space. It's these ones you want to make a pattern for? Let's, let's make a pattern for those. Is it a side one too? Yeah. That way there, I'll give, Nathan can let me get near him with 
Oh, getting blasted. I'm going to make those real quick. Just a piece of cardboard. We're going to have to make each one of these separate because there's different things going on I different right sides. In the middle, I might stick one more piece of just something right there. Yeah, you're in the middle. Yeah. I the, should really because that is kind of just one in the middle would be. No doubt we're taking the, the metal. I'll, I'll just take the metal here and then I'll, have, I'll probably have to trim some out here. We'll, we'll lay it halfway on that square stock to make ourselves think it's okay. Wouldn't it be something if they were all the same? piece up here. I'm not sure. I'm going to do this stuff. I just have to remember what's going on. Remember what's going on. Just what is shut this off for a quick second while yep. I'm trying to figure out. Right, we'll go up here. And I think what's gonna happen is, is I'm gonna add a little bit. Nah, that's not just that's not bad there though. Nice. Lock that in there. Right, let's cut this one. Alright Nathan, you're more than welcome to go welding again, old buddy. Or do what you gotta do. I just gotta get this, get this done. that. Let's go get some metal. Right there on these some small pieces up. We got some small pieces down here. We'll use them bad boys up. Be foolish not for me not to. Using my best jeans to wash the metal. That's the kind of guy I am. Let's add a little bit there. Just a little bit on that straight edge. I'll leave that line when I cut this pattern. I'm gonna to have to make another pattern for the other side because I think they're gonna be different. And uh, yeah, nice visual on what's been done. Nice visual, you know. It's looking good. And the handle. Where where most did we do we hang? Nate, you know where the handle is, old buddy? What's that, bud? The handle. Oh, the handle? It should be. <laughs> I don't know. Me neither. Well, it fell down there somewhere. So we, we haven't used it in a few days. And we have not. And now you get me thinking. <laughs> don't think, you say? My back just went out. This last object here. I'm not sure why I'm looking over here, but Let's see it. I'll zip cut it. I zip cut it. It's here somewhere. It fell on the floor.
Get a little bit of this bad boy here. Oop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that, cut that, set that up. And the reason why I'm going to cut that, set that up, see that hole? Cut it, we're going to get rid of it. Go ahead, man. Get that slit in there. Ahead. See, we'll get that slit in there like that. Get oh, off yeah. my hand there, good. glove. It's looking good. Is that pattern going to flip and walk on the other side, too? Just going to cut more of that off, cut more of that off. That's going to tie it up. Say nice. that one more time, Nathan. I left a little bit on here so you can, you can tack it on, or you can weld the edge of metal to it, or we can grind it to fit, or whatever. But this is on this edge of the metal. Yeah. And that flapped up there just to cover that hole. That can be beat down in place. I'll cut that off, get it fitting in just a little bit better, and then it's yours. Thank you. No worries. I gotta get that and knock, knock a little bit off that corner. Shove that. Actually, that's probably got too much knock of that corner now. But that's called fixing. If you want to nail that, in there? if you want to weld that in that corner, we can. Put that on there for now. Yeah, put it in there like that. Keep that down. That's straight there. Just knock it up here on the yep. top corner. So. Just want to get your other piece laying down with it. You know what I mean? Tack here. Find your other. And then I'm going to get your my hammer and just knock that corner in there. But the best for you, buddy. I if, you, if you want to weld that on that square stock, so. Yep. Um, you probably can. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, or whoever can yep. grind that wherever they want to to weld that on. Yep, sounds good. You know what I'm saying? No yeah. That's the piece there. Gotcha. Make one to the other side. Get a little tiny piece of metal to put in there. That's okay. That's okay. That's all right. All in all, this is going together fairly tight under here. That's awesome. Yeah, it's one thing to put the floor in, then it's another thing to tighten it up and make it look right. And that is the truth. And this one ends before that square stock, and the reason being is this one's hump, they're, they're made different on either side. Yeah, that's and, the one with the panel was... Yeah, yeah. and we, we did what we had, we did what we had, thought we had to do. And I manipulated that panel up where that was different to the bottom of that square tubing and welded it to the bottom of that stock on that side. And then we had to yeah. slice and dice it here. Yeah. So I just brought it up tack it to the bottom of that square stock and it mm -hmm. seemed to work out perfect. Your scissors. I'll leave them down there, did I? You think I got lots of scissors? I can just leave them around anywhere. And, and this is this is the deal. 
the faster you can make those patterns and get them packed, the faster you'll become. With the same accuracy as, as if you were doing it in your head all kinds of times. Let's do it. Just a sec, Nate. Yes. Just a sec. I just want to see if it's going to fit. Instead of getting blasted, I don't want to get blasted. That's going to do the trick. Yep. Thanks for everybody taking their time away from the Bad Chad show and seeing what else we're doing because well, this we're, is the bad Chad from, show. We're, taking, we're taking time away from your projects and you're helping us with our projects. And well, what, what, what's nice. happening is we're all going to the same car show. Nathan wants to take his truck. I think Doug wants to take his car. You want yeah. to take the car? We want to take the 50 if we can. So we're just kind of I, like... I, 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 I said that I would put in some time to help Nathan get the box done so we can get rolling on his truck. And uh, this is where we're at. Yeah, Helping it's, each other out. It's awesome. It's really nice. Cool. It's called doing what we have to do to get it, what we want to get done. Oh, you ready, Ridget? I'm just turning away. Yeah, I've seen you coming, I didn't want to get you. I want to get this down there is what I want. I want that down. 
It's not going to do it. Um, oh, that's not going to do. We're going to weld it on like that. That's what we're going to do. Nathan? Yeah, whatever you want. Weld it on like that. And then we get it cut. So it's cut down a little. Just a second. I'm going to turn it a little bit. I'm going to make it fit right down inside if I can. Yeah. Mm. Good, mm. Good. Back down tight there. Well, do you want this front coil here first? Let's do, yes, do that. The rubber's tight. Let me do that. I just want this down here to work, that's all. Yep. Where's that hammer? Now we're off there. You don't want it in like that. I hate to say it. But that's how we want it. And the reason, and the reason being is cut a little different on this yeah, side. Of course it is. Alright, that'll mold right in there. That'll mold right in there, no problem. It will. Watch your eyes. Yep. First time for everything, watch your eyes. Alright. If you want to tack that in that corner, I guess. Yep. I'm going to tight down there if you want to get that well in there. I thought this bad boy would work. I don't think it's, don't think it's gonna like, cut it off and make it work. I just kind of okay. cut it off and make yeah. it look good. I'm gonna leave that right there because we got a little chiseled hole right there. We're gonna have to fix that. Nope. It's gonna get its own piece. <laughs> You know me? that off because this is access. Right, this is access and cut that off straight. That's what I'm gonna do. What do you think, Chad? If I take the hammer and tap that down around, or do I just? And I would probably sand, like to be I honest with you, I'd, I'd, sand, I'd sand it off of your sander, like kind of cut a piece. I'd get a, I'd make it fit. I'd leave a little bit so you could sit and weld it to yeah. your thing, but there's too much hanging there. Okay. And I knew that, but I probably okay. would just leave a little bit hanging yep. and then weld the edge. I'd sand it if I was you, just because 
for the master tour. If you cut too far, right, then it's over. You know what I'm saying? Like this. This is going to look better over here. I just all, all I did is cut off the excess. That's going to look better, I think. And then cut the excess off there and then fix it. But this was just excess that was hanging over, and this is where we cut it. So I just cut the excess off. Looks good. It's all welded on the inside. And then This one, I mean, I can probably fly out of here, probably. Wherever you, wherever you right there in that corner where it was before. Right. Right here in that corner. Oh, okay. Just tack, maybe tack it back a little bit yep. so I can yep. play with it and clean it. Okay, so I'm just going to play it, put a piece on that, and put, get a little piece for that. Knock right. that down so you can weld it. And then it's over. Excellent. And yeah, awesome. You got her now, man. Alrighty, we're going to let you all go. We want to thank you for coming back. We really appreciate it. The battery's going to go dead. Um, this is what it's looking like, and this is how we're doing it. You do it your way, but take whatever you like and throw away the rest. Have a great day. Thanks for coming out. We'll come see back. you again. Come back tomorrow, and we'll be here. <laughs>